Khan. And I'm Ellen Bass. My aunt. And together we're the co-authors of Students Go Gourmet, a cookbook. And today we're going to show you how to make zucchini cheddar quiche. Probably wondering what that's all about. Well, I'll show you. So We I'll have some exciting ingredients. We do. Secret ingredients in this one for you. A few surprises. So we're going to start with, not a surprise, basic pie crust, which mm -hmm. you're going to need for quiche. Um, and we also have some other classic quiche ingredients. Uh, one and a quarter cups of half and half and three egg yolks. It makes our custard. Eggs, sorry, not egg yolks, the whole egg. Throw the whole thing in there. Um, and we also have a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese. And then, and here we've got a magical little Medi Mediterranean Middle Eastern mm. blend. Uh, so we smell it. Yeah, well we've basically got um, a cup of diced white onion. And what I do is I saute that with some olive oil, about two tablespoons, and then I sprinkle two whole teaspoons of cumin, which is wonderful for you, um, and let the, the onions caramelize with the cumin and olive oil, and I add some garlic powder as well to throw in a little extra punch. I always keep that on hand. I'm a mm -hmm. garlic fanatic, uh, so that has to go in there. And then I add the zucchini, and it's one small zucchini and sliced down the length and then down the sides into these nice little pieces that you see. It's great for quiche, little bite-sized chunks. Um, and then we add chickpeas or garbanzo beans, mm -hmm. uh, which we also love. We make a lot of things with that. Do you want to tell them about that? We'll yes, we make up. a lot of uh, hummus recipes with that. We've got a classic hummus recipe that we make, mm -hmm. homemade, which is in our book. We have an edamame hummus that we make. And um, the thing I love about chickpeas is they're a legume and legumes, the other uh, legumes, I'm going to show you this beautiful picture, are things like peas and lentils mm -hmm. and they are the best source of protein in the entire plant kingdom legumes are. So You should trust her, she's a doctor, she knows what so she's talking very about. Very excited, very excited about chickpeas and they've got such a fabulous flavor as well. And so what I'm doing here is I'm layering, I've pre-baked this pie crust, so it's a, it's a pre-made pie crust. We didn't make our own. Sorry, we kind of cheated, but we're busy, you know, short on time. And so this is a great thing to do. Those usually come in packs of two. I always have them in my freezer. You want to tell them for what either to do for with For quiche it? or for a blueberry pie. 375 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. Poke some um, holes with some a fork and you've got a pre-baked pie crust. If you don't do that, it's okay, but you might have a little bit of a soggy bottom, soggy bottom of your crust, we don't which want you soggy don't bottoms. Like. I'm just gonna get some air into these eggs. We've got Thank three you. eggs in here. And then I'm gonna add our half and half and to now make I'm our custard. I'm just putting this layer of delicious Middle Eastern vegetables. In our cookbook, we also have um, a middle, like a mini Middle Eastern Mediterranean quiche uh, without the cheese, which is what gave us the idea to do this big version with the sharp cheddar. And the flavors just work so well together. Mm -hmm. So there you go, it's a perfect amount. It's like a vegetable, a savory vegetable pie. It's going to take you right to Morocco or Turkey or somewhere delicious and far away. Um, so now I'm just going to put the final layer of cheese on top and it's going to bake in the it oven. It smells fantastic. Nice and brown. Uh, there we go. And then, we Auntie, top it will you off please with the custard? masterfully pour that in. She's I so would good love at this too. I just love watching her do this. Oh, thank you so much. You see, she's letting it sort of seep in, and then adding more and distributing it evenly, which is really mm -hmm. important Come to right do. Right up to the edge there. That's good. And and it's ready. We're for the ready. Oven. We're ready for the oven. 375 degrees. 50 to 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until the for a fork or a knife comes out clean. Mm -hmm. And then you've got our finished product, which is right here, which we already made for you to show you. If you want, you can sprinkle a little Parmesan over the and top. And this is how beautiful it is. And that's what it looks like, nice and brown, ready to go. Ready to go, delicious. Well, I'm Sophia Kahn. I'm Ellen Bass. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Happy cooking.